Hi, it's Alaska Granny. If you're into prepping, this might be a great time to take an inventory and fill in the gaps. Even though we might be working on our prepping stockpile, our pantry supplies, and other outdoor gear, we may not always keep track of what we have. Plus, if there's been a lull in the supplies that you've been gathering, you may have used some of your supplies or they may have expired and you need to make sure that you fill in the gaps and you have all of the things that you need. Your first focus should be on your food. Do you have your prepper pantry stockpile? Do you have short-term food as well as long-term food? Do you have fresh food in your bug out bag, in your get home bag, your 72 hour kit? Any place that you've squirreled away some extra supplies, make sure that you check those foods, you rotate those foods, and that you replace them. Add variety to your foods and make sure that you have a nice supply of spices, especially along with your stockpiles if you have things like rice and beans. Spices go a long way to make food more palatable and enjoyable. Now look at your water supply. Do you have enough water stored and stockpiled? You can bring home some bottled water from the store. You can rotate the water that you have stored and stockpiled that you filled up yourself. You can store more water in containers that you have cleaned, such as the PET or PETE, pop bottles, soda bottles, those types of containers. As long as they've only held food and they're food grade and they've never held anything like a chemical, that's a great option for a way to add to your food or water stockpile. Do you have a water filter? Are you satisfied that you know how to work it and that it works well, that it'll provide the amount of water that you need? This might be a great time to get it out and try it, go over it, make sure that you know how to use your things. Prepping supplies that you don't remember how to use are not going to be useful to you in an emergency situation. That's why we have things like fire drills and earthquake drills because we want to make sure that we remember what to do. So one of those drills you want to do with your own supplies is to get them out occasionally, go over them, make sure all the parts are there, they're in working shape and order, and that you actually remember how to use them. If you look at some of them and you don't think they're adequate or don't meet your needs anymore, this might be a great time to upgrade them and get something that works a little better. Do you have a way to cook and heat your food if the power goes out? Maybe you need to get a camp stove. You can get something as simple as a folding like a Coughlin or a Sterno stove that uses the little cans of alcohol heat. You can get the Sterno cooking fuel. You can choose the ones that are by Coughlin. You can even pick up the Fancy Heat at Dollar Tree. They have about two hours with a fuel in them and they can help heat up food in an emergency or power outage situation. Once you choose an emergency stove, make sure you have the proper fuel that goes with it and that you have an amount that can see you through for a week or two if that's how long an emergency lasts and you need to continue to prepare your food without your normal everyday household appliances. Do you have a barbecue? Do you keep your tank filled? Or maybe your charcoal on supply? Make sure that you also have a way to light those stoves and cooking utensils so that you can get your fuel going. Look over your first aid supplies. Do you have any gaps in there? Any items that you've raided? or items that are expired, medications or band-aids that aren't sticky anymore. It's a great time to go over those things quickly. Anything that you see that you're missing or that needs to be replaced, jot it down, make a note so that you can replace those items the next time you have an opportunity. This might be a great time to add to your first aid equipment too. Maybe you want to add an upgraded kit, you want to add some more substantial supplies, or just stock up on more of the items that you already have so that you know you'll have enough going forward no matter what the situation that comes your way. Look over your hygiene supplies. Do you have the things that you need from morning till night? Do you have a backup supply that you have an extra one on hand? The next time you buy something like say shampoo, buy two. Put one in your shower to use, put one in your stockpile. Do that with each of the items that you use and before you know it, you'll have a nice stockpile of hygiene supplies as well. When you use up the item in your home, that's when you go to your stockpile 
and you grab that one, but then you also replace the one that you used and you put it at the back of your stockpile. That way you're always rotating. First in, first out, you always have a backup amount of things. Just like the grocery store, you'll rotate your stock as you need it. Do you have some basic tools? Have them together, maybe in a toolbox or a drawer. And if there's tools that you wish you had and you think might be handy, put them on your list. Get them when you have an opportunity. Are you planning to start gardening anytime soon? Make sure you have a few garden tools and that you get the seeds when you can. It's winter now, but spring is coming and they're already predicting that there are shortages of gardening seeds simply because more people are getting into gardening. You don't have to have a great big yard. You can put a little pot on your windowsill, maybe a few plants on your patio, and you can also put them around in your yard. So wherever you have a spot, growing a little extra food can be great to make sure that you have what you need and you also have some nice fresh ingredients to make your meals more enjoyable. Know that you're doing the best you can now, but challenge yourself that I know and can do better. I can learn more things and be able to handle more. If you look back at all of the challenges that you've had throughout your life, they've made you stronger, better, taught you things. You've learned that you can handle things and you can approach new challenges with new ideas and more brain power, more skills to help you solve any problems that you encounter in the future. We also need to recognize that life expectancies are going up. People are living longer. We have access to clean water and sanitation. We have supermarkets full of fresh food choices. We also have the availability to get the best medical care that's ever been available. If you look at some of the third world countries, they don't have those luxuries. Their life expectancies aren't going to be as long as many of us who have every advantage, every opportunity, and the ability to stock and supply ourselves with the comforts and necessities for a long and healthy life. Much of longevity and aging is in your control. Do the best that you can every single day. Take care of your health that you're making and the optimum choices about the foods that you eat and the activities that you engage in. Take care of your body so that it'll last the best for the longest amount of time. Save money for the future. If you're gonna have a long, long life, you wanna have the money to be able to do the things that you want and have the things that you need. You also need to have love in your life, keep in contact with your friends and family. That's been the biggest challenge for many of us during this pandemic is we've had to stay home. We don't have the routines that we did. We don't see our friends. We can't do the activities. Maybe we're cut off from our families by distance and we're not allowed to travel. So try to make sure that you do take the time and make the effort to keep in touch with your friends and family. You can support each other through your conversations and shared learning. By connecting with those you care about, you can share your hopes and dreams, your plans for the future, and gather even new prepping tips so that you can help each other make the best of this crazy situation that we're going through. Take this time to go through your prepping supplies, look for any gaps, fill them in, and look forward with hope that we're gonna have a long and healthy life we're going to make the best of whatever comes our way and we're going to have the things we need to help make that possible. If you liked my video, I hope you'll share it with someone else you think might like it. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.